All right, folks, welcome back. Here we are, level 13, that level. The great Hollywood air race. Let's get cracking here. There's not much to say about this starting off. The uh, briefing is going to tell us exactly what's going on. So here we go. Johnny Johnson broadcast this on stations all over the Americas today. Sparks, patch it through so everyone can hear it. Hey, Nathan Zachary, Johnny Johnson here. I'm hosting a little get-together at Hughes Field Friday morning, and you're invited. It's a high-class air race to settle once and for all who's the best of the best. I've pulled some strings at the Capitol, and the nation of Hollywood's agreed to drop all current criminal charges against you if you enter the race. I'm even giving every contestant a brand new fury so the race is fair, skill versus skill. Everybody's going to be there, Steele, Crawford, Redmond, Khan, Black Swan, even I'll be in the race. Oh, it won't be the same without you, but I'll understand if you're too lily-livered to show your face. That's plenty, Nathan. Thanks. The race is one of those simple fly-through-the-course deals. Each obstacle must be flown through in succession. There's also a $4,000 prize, but I doubt we'll ever see it. You shouldn't do it, Cap. You know it's a trap. I'm sure of it. Which is why I want you guys to be on station just outside the race area. When I call for you, help me get out of there. I meant Charlie Steele, boss. I'm worried about you and her. Jack, that was years ago. I won't let her distract me again. You better not. Because I'm not in the mood to rescue you. Again. Knock him dead, Captain. Thanks, little guy. So, even the crew of the Pandora thinks that this is ridiculous. And it is. But, let's do it anyway. Explosives are the way to go, just in case we get some armor piercing to soften them up and do basically nothing. Now, there are a couple of tricks that you can do in this level. Uh, somebody mentioned that you load up with the rear uh, flash or the smoke rockets, and the smoke rockets are rear-facing uh, rockets. Uh, they're not even rockets, exactly. They're, uh, they just let out a big cloud behind your plane. If you set these off when you're in front, you will make the enemies crash into all the uh, the obstacles and such. It, uh, uh, it is incredibly effective. I tried it out on a couple of test runs and boy, it was great. But if you kill everybody at the beginning of the race or during the race, then the whole rest of the level gets kind of messed up. Uh, you're not supposed to fight anybody until the fighting starts. So we're not going to do that. Uh, I can show these off in a later uh, later mission, but for now, I'm going to have to rely on my eagle eyes and see if I can get these guys. Because all of these planes are flown by aces, they are very souped up, very, very strong, extremely uh, powerful uh, planes. So, got to watch out for that. And then, trusty, honest mistake over here to come in and fly interference for us. Um, we're going to change something here. We're going to have this guy firing armor-piercing as well. We'll see if that helps out. Uh, we'll give him an armor-piercing and we'll give him, uh, give him dum dums. I don't know whether the, uh, whether the AI planes make very good use of their, uh, their ammunition, but, uh, why not? Here we go. Puppy. Wish us luck. Attention contestants, the challenge will begin in five, four, three, two, one, go! And they're off! The first plane to complete the obstacle course wins the Johnson Cup! I am the greatest pilot in the world. I will best you all. It's party time. Eat my dust. They're through the first obstacle neck and neck. This is anybody's race, folks. You think you're so hot, Zachary. Well, I'll fly you into the ground. What a move by the Black Swan! What a talent! Let's just shoot a hole through here and mosey. Yeah, you call that flying? Bow down to the con so I can shame you. Zachary is ahead of the pack as he successfully navigates another obstacle. Oh, Marshal Bill Redman went out a little wide there. That will cost him. And we're not too familiar with Marshal Bill Redman, but he is that from Texas. You. you all know I'm the best pilot. This will prove it once and for all. I don't know much else about it. Zachary leads the pack through another obstacle. 
What a move by the Black Swan! What a talent! Okay, okay. This is the tricky one. The key is you gotta, gotta throttle back and make minute ed adjustments. Nothing major. There we go. Nathan Zachary navigates another obstacle successfully. Now if you look behind us, there's nobody on our tail. All the AI guys are doing loop-de-loops and all kinds of fancy, goofy stuff. Uh, and they tend to fall way, way, way behind, but I think that's intentional on this level. You think that's good, Nathan? Watch closely. I'm going to show you who the real fancy flyer is. Nathan Zachary clears another that obstacle. Was, uh, the Royal Crawford is speaking, by the way. Khan jockeys for position so, and okay. cuts to the inside. Okay, same deal. Throttle down, minute adjustments. There we go. Nathan Zachary navigates yet another obstacle successfully. This uh, this custom fury is pretty Ingus good. Khan jockeys for position and cuts to the inside. Very very maneuverable. Now this one's a little bit tricky. Okay, New York skyline. Gonna not hit the Statue of Liberty. Careful, 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 careful. Here we go. Zachary clears the last obstacle in first place. Ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Zachary wins the Johnson altitude. Cup. What an upset. Uh, you might be the victor, but you won't have long to enjoy the spoils. To all contestants, I will pay $10,000 to the first person to shoot down Nathan Zachary. At last, we've been waiting for the day to get a shot at you, Zachary. Those bastards, they won't get away with this. We'll defend you, Zachary. So, difficult to tell from the uh, chatter there, but uh, the Black Swan I love it. and Major Loyal Crawford are on our side now. They are now our wingmates. On your left, enemy 9 o'clock low. You stop me today, but I'll get you soon. I'll get you next time, vile cur. Not that one, over. I will be revenged. Good God. Okay, so ambush is below. Got a little bit, a uh, little bit shot up there. Bill Redmond's down. That's good. He's one of the better pilots. Took out Johnny Johnson immediately because that guy is trouble. Let me tell you. You bastard man. Goodbye. It's not over yet. Oh yeah, let me show you a trick. Little sci-fi movie thing here. We'll be set. Zachary, you got more planes inbound on your position? Mm -hmm. Looks like some Johnson aviation fighters coming to do Johnny's dirty work. You taking down all the aces. Excellent flying. Now, just take care of those Johnson fighters, and you can return to base. You saved yourself, Zachary, but you won't save the Pandora. I kept you occupied here while my Zeppelin and its scouts have been hunting down the Pandora. They have succeeded in finding her. Soon, your traveling home will be nothing more than a twisted ball of wreckage. He's right, boss. Our spotters have located a military Zeppelin off our port quarter. Roger that, Sparks. We'll be hightailing it back to you once these Johnson fighters are down. Engaging now. Yup. She's done for. On your left, Bandit, at 9 o'clock high! They're turning me into Swiss cheese up here! Somebody help! Okay, coming around, these Bloodhawks are very, very maneuverable, as we know, but they are a bit fast. Fighters are all cleared out. Let's return to base and fast. Good job, sir. I was getting worried about you there for a minute. Let's hurry back to the Pandora. She needs our help. There's Pandora. 
Well, as we can see, got a little bit banged up on that one there. We got uh, major damage to the starboard wing and the uh, aft quarter, but that went better than this level often does. It's very frustrating because you've got this very difficult obstacle course you have to fly, and then you fight a bunch of aces in very, very powerful planes with very, very powerful AI, and that can be very frustrating, and uh, it takes a while. But persevere and you'll do it. Oh, we got a lot of planes in here now. Look at all those. A couple of devastators over there. There's a something on the left. Peacemaker. Okay, three Bloodhawks, one Fury, pretty good. Uh, okay, I'll set the blah, 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 blah. Okay, first things first. Here's our presidential pardon from the nation of Hollywood. Foreign services for the nation of Hollywood, the public interest. Da, 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 da. So, we're cool. We're going to hang out in the nation of Hollywood. They're not going to give us any trouble anymore. Lucky for us, because I love Santa Barbara. Anyway. Chaos at the air race, blah, 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 1937 ultimate test of skill. Okay, let's list a bunch of the characters here in case you weren't too familiar with them. There's all people that um, that Nathan Zachary has had issues with before. Uh, and here's the tricky part. Uh, down here, uh, Nathan Zachary erupted in a blazing free-for-all as a vicious pirate flyer suddenly turned on the brave militia pilot. So they're saying that I attacked everybody. That's... Cool. Johnny Johnson managed to save off the attack by the air pirates with the assistance of Loyal Crawford. That's interesting because Loyal Crawford joined us uh, and apparently had no repercussions. Uh, clearly, Black Swan had to get the heck out of there because she's a pirate just like us. Aerial battle was uh, instigated by Nathan Zachary, Zachary, described by witnesses as the worst of the lot on attitude and skill. Well, I do know that I have bad attitude. No report on the final outcome of the race was available, so I guess I didn't get any money. Surprise, surprise. Oh, and then they've got all of the great uh, photos of the deal. Is there? There we go. Uh, and then here we go again, a release and waiver to, for all of the film footage, uh, which is pretty sweet. So, truth will come out at some point. Uh, anyway. Uh, 10%, did I have a different one? No, okay, that's, uh, that's the only info for that one. Okay, and here's all this great stuff. I even missed a few. I know one of them was the other O in the Hollywood sign. As for the others, I'm not clear. I'm sure some of you know exactly what is what. Um, okay, now this picture doesn't make a lot of sense. This is Nathan Zachary, of course. This is a trophy with a little airplane on top, presumably first prize in the air race. This is some mysterious person. And here's Johnny Johnson. Uh, so they're kind of indicating that Johnny Johnson sort of grudgingly gave us the the award, like at the end of some family movie where the underdog team wins and then Nathan Zachary and Johnny Johnson shake hands, you know, kind of kind of grudgingly. I mean, this clearly did not happen. This guy tried to murder us and then I shot him down in the ocean. So this probably shouldn't be in the game. As for the rest, here is the uh, all the info on our uh, current plane. Now, we already had the Fury, of course, but now we have his Fury, which is pretty dang good. So, what a fun level. Could have been a lot worse. It was still pretty bad. Uh, and tune in next time when we have to defend the Pandora, a military zeppelin is closing fast. And uh, the next level ain't too easy either, let me tell you. Getting, uh, ha getting into dogfights in between two zeppelins firing broadside torpedoes at each other, it's, uh, it gets a little dicey. So, uh, so that'll be fun too. So, uh, stay tuned. Today's plane of the day you've probably seen before. We've got the Boeing 747 Jumbo Jet. This was the first wide-body aircraft ever produced, more than two and a half times the size of the Boeing 707. 
The 4 engine 747 uses a double deck configuration and is available in passenger, freighter, and other versions. The seats can be easily removed to convert the 747 to a cargo carrier when needed. Being a subsonic aircraft developed during the rise of the supersonic planes, the 747 was expected to become obsolete after only 400 were sold, but 1,500 have been produced, with many more remaining on order. The 747 entered service in 1970 and quickly became a common sight at airports all over the world, overcoming concerns that some airports would not be able to accommodate the aircraft that large. Although technical problems occurred, they were minor and quickly solved. After the aircraft's introduction with Pan Am, other airlines that had bought the 747 in order to stay competitive began to put their own 747s into service. Boeing estimated that half of the early 747 sales were to airlines requiring the aircraft's long range rather than its payload capacity. While the 747 had the lowest potential operating cost per seat, this could only be achieved when the aircraft was fully loaded. A 747 with only 70% of its seats occupied still used more than 95% of the fuel a fully loaded one would use. With several variants on the market today, the 747 is one of the most versatile civilian aircraft available. Major improvements to the design will manifest in Boeing's new Yellowstone project and the 747 will continue to be a familiar sight in the sky.